This is the Escape Podcast for Star Wars The Old Republic. This week, we're going to continue our class stories and adventures and move on to what I'm calling the penultimate planet <laughs> in the original storyline. And we'll debate that later, apparently, because we've been doing that in pre-show. But Corellia, I'm calling Corellia the penultimate planet in the original storyline. Uh, potentially, we'll also, if we get done arguing about that, maybe talk a little bit about some data crowns on the side, because we've got some stuff coming up later in the month um, with our guild around data crowns. This broadcast astromech this week is EPC 250, which means there's only like 37 episodes until 300 or something like that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and playing alongside me is Seema. Hi, Seema. How's it going? Hey, Max. It's going great. We just finished um, MFN because we're recording on Tuesday night this week. Um, we did a ton of stuff. We did, we killed Eyeless. We started and we killed the um, event world boss and we started a rampage. And then everyone switched because by then everyone had basically gotten their personal targets. And then we continued rampage. And then we looked for Trapjaw on Tatooine, but we couldn't find him. He wasn't on, up on any of the instances. And there were a, there were a number of instances up. Um, and then we went and did some Republic pillaging, and a bunch of people got their personal target on their second character. So it was a pretty Conquestian MFN this week. Yes, it was. So I have Conquest on two characters already, and I've been crafting on a third one, so she's got like seven Conquest points. Um, but yeah, good week so far. How about with you, Mac? Also good with me. And yes, so here we are just hours into Conquest and our guild is at 500k. So for us, for a, you know, relatively casual guild to already be halfway through the large target, you know, hours into Conquest, that's pretty impressive. It was just one of those perfect, this is one of those perfect weeks, weeks where the kinds of things you can just knock out as a guild group of 16 you know, go kill the Eyeless, go kill you know, some champions, go do a couple rampages, and yes. everybody's doing it all together. It's it was great. A week made in heaven for us. Right, so that's perfect for us. Uh, I've continued, well, we haven't had that long in between <laughs> in between podcasts. Right. But we had, The last podcast was like five minutes ago. I, uh, I had fun doing our last podcast. <laughs> I had yes. fun on the PTS. <laughs> After, so this this is highlighted on our Twitch channel. I have not uh, published it elsewhere though, but we did spend a lot of time in the in the chat room and on the stream post show messing around on on the sky deck of the Rishi Stronghold, trying to find a good yes. spectator spot. I did finally get up top. So stop, who are these NPCs interrupting me? Gonna run away from those guys. Um, so yes, I did finally get up top. If if you had left before before the the half hour that I spent trying to parkour around and, and get up there, uh, so I got up top. I found a really nice uh, spectator spot above that large arena up on top of the sky deck, and I posted a screenshot of it on Reddit, and of course got like more upvotes on that one screenshot than on like all of the last 10 podcasts that we've posted up there all combined. But it was a but, really nice. Uh, yeah, and it is. And that's the kind of thing that Reddit likes too. something simple um, that you can check out and just, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, not something you have to listen to for an hour of these people droning yeah. on and on <laughs> to determine if you like it or not. <laughs> Using their wrong terminology in their titles. It's not. Stop it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Stop so that's it. that's what I've been doing, and I'm going to continue to uh, probably end up with three characters this week then in Conquest if I bother to do the crafting, which I know some people are really liking, and I know it's sort of un uh, unlimited crafting, but man, you still got to do a lot of work. Although I gathered a ton yeah. of mats in the past couple of weeks, so I got that going for me, which is nice. Any I have some pretty heavy-duty housework planned this week, so maybe I will have my computer on and just go in and out and do some crafting there you go you can just keep that crafting going there on the side all right let's check out what else is up in the news now an imperial news network report so i left with this one a little ambiguous because we tried to page through the the notes in general and figure out what was going on but apparently there were server issues and a couple servers requiring a re requiring a re requiring a reboot 
Uh, but we're not really sure what, exactly what was going wrong. Uh, enough to say there was some sort of issues. They had to do a reboot. It had cleared up. They still had to do maintenance this morning, so you didn't get out of doing that. But it is, uh, it's, it's all good now, so we're all fine here. How are you? Yes, right. We're all fine here. And there was a pretty interesting thread. Um, they had asked for feedback on the Rishi stronghold, and Eric posted in that thread um, after many, many pages that he was just very grateful for all the feedback. And they've already made some changes, and they're going to have an update to the PTS later this week. Um, and he says he'll have a comprehensive list of what is changing uh, alongside. Yeah. Yeah, alongside with the patch, I don't. Yeah, I, don't, I guess he means the five point nine. So, I, I mean, I it's kind of interesting to read the thread because there's a lot of stuff on there that we were kind of remarking on when we were running around. One is like, there is no really good way to watch the matches, right? Because there's either there's either a force field in your way, or you don't you just don't have a really good angle. Um, and I know a few people yeah, have written that, was... that up in their in their sort of feedback yeah. threads already. That yes, I think that's a that would be a tough one for them to to fix up. So I don't know how far they're going to go um, with that because that that in, it would include like an, an art change, which is a whole different part of the studio and and all that. But it would be nice if if they went that far. At a minimum, there's some things that are broken that they're definitely going to need to fix. Uh, I'm glad that they're continuing to interact with the community, get feedback, and figure out something new that they want to do with it. So that is cool. I mean, I think there's some minor changes they could make, even if they just put, like, uh, some things to stand on so you got a little bit better angle in that one area. And then if they made the yellow force field, like, maybe much paler. True. True. Get Yeah, get that. You're right. Ra raise it up a little bit or allow you to even put decorations there so that you could stand on. Uh, make the force field more transparent in all of the places where there's a force field blocking your field of view. And as we found for the the arena upstairs, we'll, we've found our viewing area anyway. If they just made a, you know, made that a permanent viewing area, it's still problematic because you can fall right down into the arena, which you're not supposed to be able to do. Um, so I'm sure that's not and intended. And people are pointing, or pointing out or at least asking what the deal is with ending a ma in, ending a scenario is like can anyone do it and what are the rules exactly about that because the, mm -hmm. the feedback from the ui itself doesn't really make that clear right it doesn't so we'll keep an eye out for that also up in the news they had a play test session this afternoon so this was july 10th on tuesday a war zone play test session the devs were on incognito they had uh, they, they set out hours on the test server and said, hey, everybody get on at this time, everybody queue up at this time, and apparently it worked pretty well. I was uh, getting back late from work, prepping for the podcast. I really wanted to get on, didn't have a chance, but from the guildies that did, I know Zen was out there. He said it was popping, the, the queues were insta-popping, insta and it was looking pretty good. It gave everybody a chance to actually test some things out there. Uh, Zen did say he got into a hotball match that ended 9-0, so the, the, the balance or, of whatever. Of course, hotball is a very difficult one to balance. Um, or, you know, a 4v4 where it's, or a, even a little bit of a deathmatch, more, more of a deathmatch type, uh, type of scenario is going to be much easier to balance. It's going to be very difficult to balance people that just are good at the team mechanics, because you could say... I'm going to put, you know, two tanks, two healers, and four DPS on each team. It's going to be perfectly set up that way. Um, they're all the same rating, but you might have one team that's just really well coordinated on voice and good at hotball and goes 9-0 on the other team. You, you don't know. But still, be getting on there. They said in the note for this, let me, I think I still have it up here. I think Eric's note specifically said, hey, get on. Uh, let's together get together for our first focused PTS playtest session. So hopefully this is the first of more, the first of many. We'll keep an eye out for additional playtest sessions. I hope they do more because I would love to get in there and do some testing as well. If you have a chance, even incognito, just to, to think that you might be shooting Eric Musco, I know that drives a lot of people <laughs> lately, so 
you got that going for you. You could check that out and get in there. If that's the reason that, if that makes you want to test, then all the better because, you know, more testing is good regardless. Uh, and also Charles Boyd um, posted that he's going to see if he can't put together a state of the galaxy, which would be sort of a, the story so far, you know, like previously on Star Wars, the old Republic, but um, it was, it came in the middle of a, some lore discussions back and forth between people and some people talking about lore discussions. And yeah, I think it's a, it's a good way to sort of draw a line in the sand then. I mean, I think it would be good to sort of draw a line in the sand and say, here's what's happened so far, because some of it people still argue about. Yes. That it, I, I really do like that. In fact, I'm in the middle of reading a novel for, for another MMO at the moment because I wanted to catch up on the lore. Be, because these, these are sort of spread out and you're playing it over a long period of time and, you know, especially Knights of the Eternal Throne was spread over a very long period of time. Getting a, a concise summary of, you know, the story and the state of the galaxy and maybe here's what you didn't realize was happening in the interim and this is sort of what we're transitioning to. That, you know, for those of us that are playing this for for the story and there are very many people that are doing that, I like, I like that. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, and it's good for people that aren't playing it for the story because those are the people that would have missed some of the major points. Yeah. And I'm not, I kind of count myself in that class. So, so then yeah. whatever's coming in the future will make more sense to me. And I'm less likely to just roll my eyes and go, whatever, Bioware, you know? Yeah. Still might roll because your eyes. Because I'm not but, paying well. attention. It's still their fault, obviously. Right. But yeah. Right. I like it. Also, under news, but guild news, July 27th is our next monthly guild event for AIE in SWOTOR. And this is being hosted by Marcus, one of our guildies, who's sort of spun this up for us. This will be the second in the series. And that one on the 27th is going to be all about Datacrons. I didn't realize this, which is interesting. Some of our guild members who've only sort of joined in the last year or even two, Datacrons sort of were all an old old thing yeah we weren't paying attention to him for right. the past couple of years so marcus said and he's been around for like a couple of years now or at least a year and a half uh he said yeah. hey i barely yeah. have any of these i don't have very very many datacrons at all i didn't realize that so we have us old timers i think i still have a character parked on mckeb for the endurance datacron although i think it's i'm not positive it might be a republic character I think I might have one of each, a Republic character and an Imperial character parked at the plus 10 Endurance Datacron on Macab. Because this is going to be a Republic event for us, so we've got we've to be specific to that. Yeah. We're probably not going to do things like, well, we'll talk more about Datacrons when we get to, to, when we get to the gameplay and, and start walking around. Yes. Cause we're gonna have and I, and it's going to be sort of a Datacron crawl. I mean, we're going to go from Datacron to Datacron and, and you know, watch Marcus fall off of things, basically. Yep, and you have to take a drink at each data con. So that, that'll be... Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, that's also going to kick off for AIE, our summer events. So we, we call it um, uh, our, our, our AIE Summer of Love is the, is the name of it that's gone back 10 years ago whenever they started it. It's across yeah, all of our Yeah, we didn't think games, of that name. It's, I don't know, it's, you know, it's a, it, you know, family-friendly <laughs> guild trying to, to promote um solidarity between it's all not... guildies that's cool yes that's fine yes. I'm, I'm fine with that uh, but it means all across that week starting on the 27th all the way through the following weekend so about eight days there there's going to be guild events for us across all of our games pretty much every night sometimes twice in a night um all centering around um august 2nd which is our remembrance day which is a, a sort of a solemn event i've described in the past for us so that's us coming up at the end of the month. I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. um, Conquest this week is on the imp side. Next week, which will be July 17th, it will be on the imp side again. And then because we do two imp sides in a row, and then after that, pub again. So this week imp, next week imp. Yep. And as we said, hitting that, we're going for that large planet target this week. And I'm sure we're going to get it because we're always already so far. So that's really cool. 
Also, I wanted to do a shout out. I know I named a bunch of them last podcast. I won't go through all of the names of all the people that have been producing content, but it's still continuing to come out. All of the community members that are producing content, especially around the PTS, guides to the war zones and PvP, guides to the Rishi Stronghold, uh, different different types of screenshots and blog posts and walkthroughs and uh, guides for new uh uh, cartel market stuff that's coming out in the near future. We have a very active community in terms of content creators of all types, streamers, podcasters, blog writers, guide writers. Uh, I'm really pleased that that continues to go on. So kudos to all of you that are out there creating content for the community. That's what sort of helps keep a community strong. Um, yeah. So thanks. And also thank you to the chat room for showing up tonight and helping us debug some issues and just being your normal, fantastic selves. We love you. There you go. So Summer of Love is all about you guys. There you go. Yes. All right. Kem Val, catch us up. We were out of the, the storyline last week. Where are we at this week? Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. I like that. Like what you did there, Kem. That was funny at the end. Um, so, <laughs> Kemal says, this is the penultimate planet <laughs> in the original <laughs> story progression. Not necessarily the class story, because the Corellia is the, is the final planet in your class story for your individual classes. But it's what I'm calling the penultimate planet, which, mean, which means second to last planet, in the original <laughs> story series, because all of the class stories come back together for Ilum. So this is penultimate. Now, if you notice where we're starting right now <laughs> is not Corellia. Uh, and that's because in between last time and this time, I thought we were going to Corellia. And of course, I went back to my ship and Harkin calls me up and says, you gotta come to drum you gotta come to Korriban, blah blah blah, blah, blah. Uh, I just want to go and force choke this guy uh so we're gonna go force okay. choke a fool you could probably do that uh yeah and go go catch up this is the path to one of the companions that you get so eventually we're gonna get the you know bone face dude um one of the times we keep getting, get routed through here Zalek, which is a pretty cool name but uh this should be quick, and then we should get to um, the penultimate planet, and then Seema can tell me why uh, I shouldn't have called it the penultimate planet, but I was too lazy to change all the names of the podcast for tonight, so that's what it's. <laughs> uh, ooh, Smoke gives me a little hint in the chat room saying it is possible to kill him if you do the right choices. Well, I'm going to do whatever the dark side choices tell me to do because I am guided by the... By the, by the uh, Oh, I almost ran off the <laughs> ledge there. I'm guided. You're guided by the darkness. Uh, I'm going to, and I'm, this is the wrong way, too. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm going to shoot magic missile at the darkness. Yeah, I was thinking of that, too. <laughs> uh, here we go. All right. Let's see what we can do and see what my dark side choices are. He is chatty today. Kemval is chatty. Hello, Harkon. My lord, you are just in time. The acolytes should be returning shortly. There's mm. something vaguely unsettling about Boneface. He's hardly said a word, but he's got a determined glint in his eye. Reminds me of you. Mm. Ah, there you are. My lord, it looks as if we were both wrong. May I present to you your apprentice? <clears throat> Not so fast, Harkin. Maybe I wasn't so wrong after all. Ah, Boneface. So you're not dead then. <laughs> Zalek. Hmm? My name is Zalek. <laughs> this is looking pretty good. Getting tense in here. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> he just laid the smack down on that Twi'lek. Your carving, my lord. 
All right. Scum. Do you not listen to the rules of this academy? You do not murder another acolyte, and in the presence of witnesses. I'm sorry, my lord. It seems I failed to teach this miserable dog a single lesson. I will let you know when a new shipment of slaves arrives. I want this one. But then I'm dark side, and that was pretty dark. <laughs> it's all right, Harkin. I like his style. He murdered an acolyte in the academy walls in the presence of an overseer and a lord of the Sith. Harkin. By punching him. Sith tradition demands he be executed. Um, I am the Sith Lord here, and you're going the right way for a choking, if you know what I mean there, Harkin. I'm hoping. <laughs> Do not make me remind you the cost of disobedience. No, my lord. But Thanaton will hear of oh, this. Oh, come on. Looks like that's the end of this, and I'm, I do not Lord. see the force choke Harkin choice coming up. Um, let's go. We have a lot of work to do. Let's go. Just let's go. I have places to be. If you fall behind, I won't look back for you. My eyes are on you, Lord. Good deal. He's, he walks away. <laughs> he did. He walked away in front of me. What, what are you doing? That's not what I said. I said, follow me. Okay. But now you have Harkin as a companion. So there you go. Let me look at my companion list. You or, have Harkin as a companion? No, not That's Harkin. Interesting. You have Zalek as a companion. There you go. Z Zalek. There you go. I, now you get Zalek as a companion. Cool, cool, cool. Bone face. Bone face is ready. Bone face is ready. Yes. <laughs> That's a reference to... Uh, uh spider-man the original spider-man movie um when uh it was roddy piper wasn't it who played bone saw in the ring with uh with spider-man and said bone saw is ready mm -hmm. that's what it is all right so now we get to go up to our ship and go to our ship's terminal if we just have to use the ship's hollow terminal then i can quick travel directly to the ship which i'm going to do from the galaxy map so don't forget you got that on your galaxy map um, is an easy way to get to it. Personal transport, uh, personal starship priority transport. And I will talk to my ship's holo terminal. Oh, you're not going to be able to. Alrighty. Do that. No, I'll get my own ship. That's okay. Uh, Gildy Zen. Yeah, he does in the have a very room. cultured sound. Uh, Zalek does. Gildy Zen, who's in the chat room right now, dropping comments about, um, Zalek and how he sounds, which is pretty cool. Um, do you see this this place that I'm in? See this this ship, this class ship? It's a really cool feature of your class stories. <laughs> Just wanted to point that out in case you wanted to spend some time while we're uh, playing here getting your class ship. Because <laughs> so. Zen never has his class ship on any of his characters. Zen has at least one one character that's high level that has no class ship for whatever reason. All right, do use my hollow terminal. Um, Zen has been on the podcast before. You all know Zen. My lord, Moff, Valiant, Tyrant, I am satisfied to report that the silencer is Oh, complete. no, there's this thing. You better not send but me somewhere. I time to test it before Thanaton intervenes. The prototype is mounted aboard the Imperial oh, Please Star don't send me there. Meet me there. Oh, <laughs> no. No, 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 <laughs> no. It falls to you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Why can't you fire the weapon? things to do it would be best if the moths saw you do it yourself oh i think i'm gonna be hey, seven. base barn quite a bit patriotism i shall see you aboard the doombringer criminy and all get out if you know what i mean <laughs> uh, i do wow okay well let's <laughs> as fast as we can go to the doombringer do the thing and hopefully at least land on Corellia tonight. Doombringer, travel now. Fine. 8,000 parsecs. I wonder if you I can summon me there. I don't know how I would get there. Uh, I will give it a shot. If I was really smart, I would have done the story up until this point, and then I could get there. But I'm not that smart. We won't tell people that you've been slacking off and your character is still on Narshida. We won't tell them that, Seema. <laughs> just a secret I've been conquesting man a secret between you and me I have a secret yeah don't tell anyone 
I see dead people. Um, okay, let me see if I can summon you right to here. Group, summon group, fear guild flagship. Did you get that? I'm in a weird uh, spot. No. Actually, no, but I'm on my ship. But I should still see it. Oh, I, can, I need to wait 18 seconds <laughs> before I can... <laughs> <laughs> do guild ship flagship transport the world again. is just against me tonight but only 18 seconds so there's that i guess all right um summon group via guild flagship would you like to summon group to your coordinates for 10,000 credits okay summons up you got it I got it. Let's see where I end up. It says travel to the Doombringer. Hello, Sima Zeng. I see your name tag with the little snowflake next to it, next to it because you are a, a special snowflake to us all. All right. Now, yes, if I, I go am. through here, you should be able to come in. Oh, look at that. Yep. Hey, little trick. I was helping one of our guildies. I don't know if I, maybe I said this last week anyway, but I was helping one of our guildies get done with one of the chapters in... Uh, to get to complete master mode because it was just, it was just a pain. We went, we wanted to get it done quick to get that. Just check it off on the achievement list. I think it was it's one of the chapters where you get the gr uh, the gravestone and you take it to that outpost and you meet the the Koth's co old buddies or the repair crew. Anyway, there's no sort of point to zone in. Uh, he was able to get in there and do a flagship summon of me into that. Um, into that chapter, and I was able to then uh, follow him in that way. That was the only way well, we there could you go. do it. All right, so here we are on the Doombringer. I think that might have only worked, though, because you've done the chapter before. Maybe. I, Yeah, that might have been it. Uh, Doombringer command deck. I see a lot of robots. They're all Imperial. Nobody should be attacking. Nobody's attacking me, but... They're looking, they're pointing their guns in my general direction. I don't appreciate that. Doombringer command deck bridge. Talk to Moff Pyron. What's up, Moff? Ah, there he is. This, my fellows, is the future of the Sith Order. Okay, Who stop buttering me up. the Empire into a new moment. What is a new moment. Is Lord going to do against the Dark Council member? Palatin will have our heads. Get this Damn stunted slime out of my sight. Every day. Our ancient and mystical Sith traditions will win wars, he says. Not generals with training. He'll be gone soon enough. Or just ahem, why don't you pay attention to me and stop talking amongst yourselves? Moff Pyron, if you please. Yes, let's quiet down. There the you Sith go. is not here to listen to your bickering. That's right. Do the thing. Come on. I got places to go. Corellia. to demonstrate a new weapon, codenamed Silencer. You boys may have heard of it. What are you drinking, Pyron? Palatin <laughs> killed the Silencer project. Yes, but we didn't actually kill it. Corellian cocktails. Soon you will see an entire Republic fleet disappear. Thanks to the silencer and the tireless efforts of the Empire's champions. I'm in a hurry. Just get this I done. Know. Let's just get this done. <laughs> Isaac, prepare the silencer to fire. Mm-hmm. Of Pyron, my lord, we're receiving an Imperial signal. Doombringer, Darth Ashalon of the Carnage requests your aid in fighting the Republic fleet. Repeat, the Carnage needs your aid. Is this part of the plan? Just fire the silencer. Let's blast that fleet out of the sky. Use the weapon. No, wait. If you fire the silencer now, the carnage and Ashalon will be destroyed in the blast. It's not concerned me. One of Thanaton's cronies. Let him get blasted. Ooh, I feel a dark side you choice coming on. Knowingly destroy an imperial vessel. You proposed treason, Graham. Well, it's treason the then. We'll tear him to shreds anyhow. <laughs> if we go in there, that'll be two imperial vessels destroyed. My lord. Let Ashlon burn, fire it, let them die. If Ashlon wants help, go get it. 
not that it'll do him any good. Use the weapon. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Do it. That didn't. Why wasn't that a dark side choice? Should have got some dark side points for it. And who's this guy? He's a pointer. <laughs> it's the Union Overseer. Oh, here we go. Nice. Droid Overseer. Looks good. Can I go now? Amazing. I can't believe my eyes. I agree. You've made quite the impression, my lord. Consider us interested in an alliance of sorts. Fine. Speak with Pyron. I'm done with you guys. Moff Pyron, will you handle the details? Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Can I go now? That's all I came I here mean, for. All the Sith did was show up and then be there while the Moff fired the weapon. I guess. But I. But remember, we got it though. Didn't were we responsible yeah. for forgetting it? I guess. Use yeah. your ship's hollow terminal. I bet you can come and come take a ride in my in my. Take a magic carpet ride, something something. I'm sure there's a song that goes along with this. Transport deck. Airlock. Airlock. Sure are. I am sure locked. Did you end up on my ship or did you end up on your own ship? I think I need to, would, would have Still needed loading to, in. to zone in first. Oh. Uh, That's okay. Looks like I'm on my ship. Which looks completely different from my ship. It still says Doombringer, though. It says Seemathing Sim the Doombringer. You have remarkable energy. Who knew the silencer project could be such a resounding oh, success? Thanaton, can I be done with you, too? The capital too? ships are not trivial resources. Um, it was your Sith's mistake. Darth Achalon shouldn't have engaged the Republic fleet with one ship. Perhaps. This ends now. I declare a Kadath. A contest of Gaff. mutual annihilation, pitting power base against power base. Whoever sheds the most blood wins. To the victor, eternal glory. To the loser, death and shame. What is this Kagath? I don't even have time for this. I've never heard of the Kagath. I keep forgetting how little Zash taught you. Corellia is the arena. The Kagath begins Corellia. when you land. Finally. Forfeit and be disgraced. Please, to the ends let's go. Of the galaxy by every Sith in the Empire. Game on. My lord, that was an open channel. Thanaton broadcast the whole thing. He wants everyone watching the Kagath as it unfolds. He is well entrenched on Corellia, but the Empire's fighting a significant battle there. The chaos could be an advantage. With your permission, I'll transfer to Corellia so that the fleet can provide you support. Sounds good. Um, I appreciate that it, actually. Sounds more than sufficient. Yes, my lord. I will try to learn of any weaknesses in Thanaton's power base. I like it. Let's do this. I did get dark side points for blowing up my friends, apparently. Travel to Corellia. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Corellia. Let's go. 1,600 credits. Forget it. I'm done. Done with the glass story. <laughs> that 1,600 credits is going to break me. <laughs> 13,000 parsecs. I bet I could make it an eight. Let's see. Use your ship's intercom. Uh, where's my intercom? <laughs> Oh, there's Zalek. Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I have accepted. 
to like Horde fought a Gagoth against his rival for 15 years. A feast of souls. Nice. When it was over, he commanded that his dead rival's name never be spoken again. Such is the disgrace of failure, the glory of victory. Um, I can't wait to kill Thanaton. Really, I can't. So. I'll be happy if it gets Thanaton off my back. Exactly. That's Corelli is all out of war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. Mm, the war is my advantage. I must find a way to turn the tide of battle against Thanaton. Moff Byron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get. All right, cool. Okay. Oh, there's a codex entry. <sighs> what do you think? Simon? Read it. Read it. Zen, what do you think? Do I need to read this codex entry? Where even are the codexes? There you go. There you go. Um, Kagath. There's no search. Why is there no search for in the codex en codex entries? It went away too quick. Uh. What would this be? Lore? Oh, there it is. The Kagath. The Kagath is an ancient but rarely employed rite of the Sith. One part, I don't know why I'm using this voice, but it is. One part <laughs> duel. One part large scale. Dejaric Casey match. Kasem. The, the darkest Sith of them the all. Kath, the Kagath pits Sith against Sith unto humiliation and death. The challenger of the, t of the top ten. Sets the arena, whether a planet, a star system, or the entire galaxy. The two combatants then must muster their full power bases to outwit and outmaneuver each other and defeat or win over each other's forces. When the Dark Lord of the Sith, Tulak Horde, fought and won his one and only Kagath, he declared that the name of his opponent would be stricken from history. We already heard this. And his command was fulfilled. The Kagath has the power not only to destroy an individual Sith, but obliterate his entire legacy. Can you believe it? <laughs> thank you zen there did you did you get that zen i read it it's fascinating fascinating i tell you all right fascinating fascinating you're on your own on corellia apparently i can't get there you can't why can you not get there we should still be able to go there i know right and you can't even fly there i but i i, I can fly there and i and the shuttle goes down to the planet, and it looks like it's loading, but then it, I'm back on the ship, and it says, you can't go there. Can you... Can you hit... Oh, can I get, like, a... Yeah, yeah. let me go back to the fleet and pick hit up... Hit Control a, G. Hit Control G. Oh, wait, it worked that time. No, I, I'm on there. I'm in the space... The spaceport. Control G. Control G, and then you do... Um, Oh, and I'm getting a cutscene. Control G, and then you do dailies, and you say uh, daily missions on Corellia. <laughs> then says he was. He says he was getting a drink. Can you read the codex again? He's cut out transport. Yes, black hole is another good idea, but I actually did get through that time. If I, can't I thought maybe there's some kind of a. I can't win the Kagath. Maybe you were like stuck in my story or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. I went back to the fleet, came back, and then it worked. Darth Janus can help you with the transport problem, but we need to understand what we're up against if we're going to counter it. Why do all the all the Darths always have uh, evil names? I mean, isn't that a little obvious? <laughs> Why doesn't like Darth Sunny, Darth Sunny D? Dark Evilicus. Evil Icus. Darth kill you, kill you much. <laughs> hmm. Darth kill you much. <laughs> Are you a bad guy? <laughs> Can't tell. I will destroy his apprentice. It's our chance to strike. Let's just strike. He's making this too easy, putting his apprentice within killing distance. 
He must feel the risks are worth the reward of glory in battle. Or Scar is bait. Hmm. Lord Scar will be aware of his master. It's not a trap if you know it's a trap. That knowledge could be priceless. Um, I must turn the tables. Thanaton is basically Do it. trying to kill Scar. But what if I win him to my side? Mm -hmm. You could certainly thwart Thanaton's plans. A sure victory in the Kazan. Whatever you do, find out as much as you can about Thanaton's schemes. Will do, buddy. Confront Lord Scar. Step one. Confront Lord Scar and find out what plans he has to kill his his brother who is Simba's dad Lord Scar is plotting against Lord Mustafa and plans to kill him by wildebeest stampede okay here we are, Corellia. Welcome to Corellia. You made it. The penultimate planet of the original stories. I like Corellia. I say that about every planet, though, don't I? Do you like Corellia, Seema? I like Corellia, too, in spite of um, the sort of general complaint of, you know, having to go in circuitous, circuitous routes to get anywhere. Yeah, that, but, you know, really that's true on all the planets. I mean, that's just sort of the way they've mapped things yes. out um, around it here. Is. One of my favorite parts of Corellia like is the planet, transportation system. Of there's course. that. Mm. But, like, if you compare to, like, Terrace, which also you have to go around a lot of things, there's also lots of, like, yards and meadows and stuff that you can run across. Yeah, really, it's it's not bad. Well, d well Terrace is kind of bad. Like, like Balmora is much more open. Terrace has got yeah. a lot of areas where you gotta like, where you gotta go around, and there's like, cause, like, there's a big starship hull and a wall, and you can't get through that way, and you gotta go around and run through a whole bunch of Cathar that want to claw your eyes out. I, I, I found that quite a bit on Terrace, and running through all the Rack Ghoul and that kind of thing. Corellia is now a movie planet too. Yes, because, who was born here? two famous characters one one more famous than the others but han solo was born on corellia and now this was in the han solo movie this is han solo's i wouldn't yeah i guess you could call it his home planet but his birth planet and who else anyone else chat room what other famous pilot was born on corellia don't look it up who oh. knows no, not Poe. Anyone? You know, I just I it realized that Disney actually, the more of the extended universe or legend now that they could roll in, the more they would get the probably the biggest Star Wars fan complainers back on board. I mean, I understand why they did it, that they can't, like, resolve every storyline if they don't have control over it. But they can control, they could prioritize rolling more stuff in. Yeah. Yes, they definitely can. And Stavis is right. It's Wedge Antilles. He was born on Corellia as well. Oh, right. Vehicle paths are currently open for business. Okay, here we go. Islands Outpost Taxi. Why didn't I get to, to ride the monorail? That was a little disappointing. Why did it come, I have to come over here? So we're going to the to the south one, Islands Outpost Taxi. Because we're staying within the incorporation islands. Is Ma in Mothma? She could have been. There are a f there are a, a, a quite a few characters, that espe especially in the extended universe, that are are Corellia associated or Corellia um, sourced as well. But the two biggest ones are Han Solo and Wedge Antilles. From what I understand, I'm not a, a, a lore master myself. I only play one on TV. I can't mount here. That's why I always find that weird. When you zone into these areas when you can't mount. 
Yeah, right. It's it's wrecking my immersion, man. Yeah. Okay, so we're in here to confront Scar. I like to call him Darth Smiley Joe. Enough of this to your posts. Are you no. Imperials or dogs? We will consume this galaxy in fire before this war is done. Fall behind and you will burn too. That's a terrible pep talk. You have a most interesting way of inspiring your men. Save your clever quips. Imperials, attack this Sith. He is a traitor to the Empire. Yes, my lord. You're just wasting these guys. Um, force persuade, attack Scar, don't hide behind your men. Fight me yourself, you coward. Who said I was going to? Force lightning them all. Kill the small ones first. Completed. Destroy his troops, and he's still alive. Maybe we get to kill him or not. You can have your cat mark. Go on. Um tell me about your master. We don't need to be entities enemies or I get to shock him. <laughs> tell me Thanaton's <laughs> plans. Shock him. Which tell one will you system. pick? Please, no more of that. Moth Pyre Baby. and Speed is your best asset. Thanaton plans to destroy the fuel refinery so the fleet can't refuel. Without fuel, your fleet is useless. Uh, that's treasonous. All right, I'm curious. Explain. Where does he plan to launch his attack? The Salonian tunnels. Mm. He's using them to enter the refinery and plant the bombs to destroy it. Hurry. If you don't stop Thanaton, the fuel lines will be destroyed and your fleet will be stuck. One little lightning shock and and the guy sings like a canary. He's, he's on our side now? And he And we let him walk away, apparently. Holo communicators, my, my phone's ringing. New holo communicator, who dis? Ooh, I'm getting a little buffering. Oh, are you still there? Oh, uh, Pause. a little, a little buffering. Pause. Every day I'm buffering. Sorry about the buffering there. Sorry about the buffering. Um. Comcast is getting a little uh a little choppy. I'll we'll wait one minute here and hopefully it'll settle down. Come on. Get back on track. Yikes, man. Back on track. Yeah. It's trying, Jerry. I think Thanaton has sabotaged our connection to the Force. Okay. Well, let's answer this hollow call, and we're getting to the to the end of our time anyway. Yeah. Uh, that would be a great time to read a codex. We can we can have the big cl climax next time we play. Yes. Uh, so let's, who's calling us anyway? Probably our fleet, Pyron. Thanaton plans to enter the fuel refinery through the Salonian tunnels and destroy it. I knew Thanaton was determined to stop you at this. The fleet is scheduled to arrive at Karelia shortly, but we can't refuel without that refinery. If he is allowed to destroy the refinery, we might as well surrender the Kadav now. Um, he will fail. I'll take care of it. I protect my resources, Pyron. You can depend on that. Get to the Salonian tunnels, quickly! Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. You're not my supervisor! Okay. So, finally we got to Corellia. We didn't have a chance much to talk about Datacrons. Maybe we'll do that more next week. We've got a couple weeks before our guild event. But we finally got to the planet, the penultimate planet of the original story, as I said. <laughs> and next week, Simo will tell me why I'm wrong and ignorant um, as well. <laughs> um, but I'm glad we got this far. So wrong. Just so, so wrong. 
Um, so I think we will wrap it up at this point. I know there's a little bit of streaming uh, challenges as our, our streaming bandwidth is, is freaking out, but um, for all of you that are, are, are missing or we're, we're buffering or breaking up uh, a little bit here, we're certainly gonna put the audio uh, bits of this together, which will be perfectly fine, fine and clear. Uh, so with that, we will take EPC 250 and kick him out an airlock so he can get this broadcast all tidied up and, and cleaned up out to all of you. Please keep up with us. Hey, please keep up with us on Twitter <laughs> at Max the Gray and at AIE SEMA. And if you know any cool people that should be playing with us, to come tell them to check us out on Starforge. Come tell, tell them to check us out on YouTube, uh, live on Twitch on Tuesday nights. And if you look at AIE-Guild.org, you can get our information for our Discord and the rest of our guild, and you can come join us and get a, an invite to AIE. That's why we're doing this. And we, we will talk to all of you later. Later, everyone.